Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Victory at Sea Pacific. Today, I hope to be taking over Iwo Jima. It's up here towards Okinawa and further on in Japan. If I take this island, I'll be able to construct a nuclear device on it. And I'm not exactly sure how the game expects me to deliver it. I expect it's going to be by B29. But I haven't actually gotten that far into the game yet, so I'm not really sure. Now, Task Force 46 over here is moving back, or actually was moving back towards, I think, Tinian. Yeah, both Tinian and Guam have a fair amount of supplies there. I'm going to see if I can finally resupply Task Force 34. Uh, supposedly it has a ton of stuff at Guadalcanal, but I'm not exactly sure if they're able to take from it. Some people have been saying yes, they can. Some people have been saying no, they can't, because the port's not repaired. Um, somebody said, I think it was Michelle, you need to move the whole fleet away. It's like they need to move towards a different zone and then move back in. So I thought that was a fair suggestion. Let's see if that is indeed the problem. Now Task Force 58 over here. This is the new three Baltimore class cruisers. They just tackled one convoy. And I think that they would be best served doing a patrol from Guam towards Palo Islands to intercept anything that might actually now we're gonna patrol from here to there to intercept anything that's aiming to resupply these ports now as I am making my own progress so is the enemy and the enemy is making good progress in fact in the north I'm not exactly sure what they want with uh, Kiska and Atu and They've already taken over Komandorsky. These ports are really not that vol uh, that valuable. They have a war, ga war bond gain of 0.5 per month, or per day probably. So it's very, very little that these things contribute. And as such, I'm not really too concerned with exactly sending out a task force and taking that back. Now these carriers are still not resupplied. Go back to the map view. Um, yeah, just continue moving away. Not sure why that alarm is going off. What do we have for objectives? Yeah, we still have plenty of objectives to capture. I think that these need a bit of fuel, and then we can make our push towards Iwo Jima. They're also going to be joined by Task Force 53, which is two Iowa class battleships. And those should provide a lot more AA firepower, as well as just main guns, towards that task force. Uh, what other task forces do we have? We have 56 over at Hawaii. That's a couple of destroyers. Now, we had a couple of Japanese submarines threatening convoys which were being created at Puget, Mare, and San Diego. At the moment, there does not really seem to be a submersible threat. Or, I can't see it whichever way it is. For the moment, I don't think I need these destroyers at Hawaii. So we're going to send them over to Wake Island, hoping that they can get there in one go. Task Force 33 is another three destroyers. I'm going to have these guys do a patrol. I'm not really expecting anything, but if there is a Japanese task force heading this way, I would prefer to know about it rather quickly. And the Radford is the one carrying the nuclear materials. Now, at truck... Actually, no, I don't want to build anything at truck. I want to have some more ships being constructed at Puget, which is where I'm building two Essex carriers, two Portlands. Um, and a Baltimore. Somebody made a note about the Wasp-class carrier. Now, I did some searching for it online, I couldn't really find the Wasp-class carrier. I could find a carrier named USS Wasp, but I believe it was a Yorktown class. And somebody said, no, this is a amphibious assault ship. I think that's not entirely right. I think that he, she, might be confused with USS Wasp, which is a modern LHD, landing helicopter dock, which means it's a landing ship with a helicopter platform and a dock. And I think that that is a little bit too modern to be in the game at current. Because this is 1943. Not
not exactly a time when you would expect to see such advanced ships. 110 war bonds. Oh, fuck it. How uh, about building some more convoys? You people always seem to be telling me, you need to build more convoys. I have a ton of convoys. Sure, I'll build some more, because I know that they're handy, but... Trust me, I have enough convoys, as is. Alright, 58's in position. Make it a patrol. Is Task Force 34 far enough away yet? You'd think so. Yeah, it says they're now still at the Solomon Islands, so they're not far enough away yet. Some of them, though, might be able to go for a ball, resupplied or not. Hmm. Tempting. Let's do it. Rabol has also been harassing not so much Kevin or but a cruiser that I sent to well defend that place. It didn't really work out, <laughs> you could say. It didn't really work out. Ugh. Why are they taking over all those places? I don't really see what the strategic importance of that is. Now, let's see if 46 is ready for a fight. Because we're going to be trying to take the fight to the Japanese. Yeah, looks like these carriers have plenty of bombs on them. Alright, 46. Task Force 60. Three heavy cruisers at Pearl Harbor. Are these Portlands? Baltimores. Beautiful. Alright, the ships at Pearl Harbor see what we're dealing with here. Mm. There's a battleship in there, too. No, I'm not going to send them north. I'm going to just continue to send those things west. Truck Lagoon seems to be a good staging ground. Alright, 46. We are going to move up. We're going to scout out Iwo Jima. Task Force 53. You still have some fuel left. Make it count. Tinian. High priority. Guam. High priority. Let's see, what other ports do I have that I don't really need? Uh, Tulagi? I'd say Tulagi is not really a priority. None. Townsville. Townsville is already set to none. Port Moresby. Uh, no thank you. Midway set surplus, 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 surplus. Tinian. Truck Lagoon is a key port. Uh, this one, not so much. I'm going to switch that over to Rabal soon. The Marshall Islands. These things aren't really that important anymore. So I'm going to say none. Seriously, why is that alarm still ringing in my ears? Okay, so the Seahawks can't really go anywhere. How about my dive bombers? Because last time I checked, the task force that was operating north northwest of the Mariana Islands got attacked. And it got attacked by aircraft, which seemed to be bypassing Iwo Jima altogether. Somehow. Not really sure how they did it, but sure. 54 war bonds. Let's build some more ships. San Diego. I'll take two more Victory Class ships. Yeah, 5 6 is still underway. 33 is patrolling. 58 is patrolling. Yep. Green to go. 34 is going to be launching aircraft against Rabal. It seems they still have some torpedo boats there. I said yes, didn't I? 60s at Hawaii, or no, actually, yeah, they've been set to resupply at truck, so that works. Now, I do have a shipyard here, but I don't really have the funds to build anything useful. Jesus. Huh. 
Task Force 58. Oh, fuck me. That's three destroyers, a cruiser, a battle cruiser, and an aircraft carrier. That is a little bit more than I had initially expected to find around these waters. These cruisers are set up to engage convoys. And that's what they're good at. I'm not really sure they're going to be capable of taking on a carrier task force. That is, if I can find the damn task force anywhere. There. Let's set these guns to AA duty because there's likely to be a lot of aircraft coming down this way. And if you keep fighting me on this, this is going to be really annoying. They're reloading. Alright, let's send out a spotter plane. I hope I don't lose these three cruisers. This is an investment of about 500 war bonds ish. There's a Kate incoming. Where there's one, there's likely going to be more. There's a zero. Alright, gentlemen, I hope you have your AA set up. Which you don't. Seriously, why is the game fighting me on whether this is an AA weapon or an anti-ship weapon? Fine. I'm still waiting for the dive bombers to come in. Hold on, what's the Omono? Cruiser. Baltimore? Yeah, I don't suppose they're gonna have range. Well, they're gonna have range pretty soon. In fact. Alright, Canberra, please do something. Any AA would be handy. Oh, now you're gonna switch to AA? We just lost our spotter. Which means that we also lost sight on the Omono. That's one aircraft down. I can't imagine the aircraft carrier would only send one flight of torpedo bombers at me. That would make very little sense. Anyway, so far so good. What's the range? There's the Omono. Right, let's speed things up a little. Here come the dive bombers. But if it is just one more flight, then hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Although the Boston did take some damage. You please switch that to AA and be quick about it. Because I could really use the Boston alive, considering what we're going up against. Turn. Do so now. I mean, there's not too much that you can outturn against a dive bomber attack, but the harder the target is to. or the more. Oh, here we go, here we go. The more difficult it is maneuvering, the more erratic the maneuvering of the ship is. Brace! Oh. That was better than expected. Alright, so now we have a little more information on what we're facing. The. Uh, our car was the battle cruiser. That thing could level this whole fleet if they really wanted to. Is the Canberra in range? No, it's not yet in range. Task Force, this way, please. 
Hopefully we can get both the bow and the stern turrets on target. The sooner we can whack one of these ships, the better. Oh shit, the Arakawa is returning fire. <coughs> Omono is doing erratic maneuvering as well. Looks like the Boston just took a hit. Omono took a hit. Another one. Arakawa's firing again. Ow. Oh, I could kiss that cruiser goodbye. Alright, looks like he has sustained enough damage to be dead in the water. No, he's actually dead. If I can kill that one, the others, these destroyers, are much less of a threat. So much for the Boston. Alright, the Arakawa has taken some damage, but at the expense of one heavy cruiser. <coughs> Sure, if I have battle cruisers in my fleet, I'm not sure if I can build those. Come on! I still don't know where the carrier is, too. Is that it? Soryu. Well, whatever's left of the Soryu, that is. This thing has taken. Jeez, there's nothing left of that carrier. No wonder it's sending out very, very small flights of aircraft. It simply doesn't have any more. I don't know if I can kill the Arakawa. It's not losing hit points fast enough. Whereas the Canberra is definitely taking hits. See, it seems like most of the ammo is just... Or most of the shells fired at the Arakawa are just bouncing off. Boom! That's the Arakawa taking a big hit, but also losing the Canberra. It's just the Baltimore left at this point. Baltimore, make a turn. Jesus. Kiska has been occupied. Alright. Ow. So we sunk no ships, but we lost three cruisers. Shit. Well, Task Force 34 is going to have to work these things out. Oh, actually, sorry, there was one cruiser that I sunk. But unfortunately, I lost the others. Uh, that's 5-3. Why the hell are there four destroyers coming my way? I want these guys to engage them. I am going to forbid launching aircraft. And we're going to engage. What? Against Japan? No. No. We're not launching aircraft against Japan. We're going to take them out with the light cruiser, the cruisers, and the battleship. This has nothing to do with aircraft. No. I'm going to save my bombs, in fact. We have bigger fish to fry. yet. This should be right about now. Just hope the game doesn't really park all those destroyers right next to my battleship like they did a couple of episodes ago. That was a very nasty surprise. Come on. Enter combat. Alright, we're going to hold the carriers back. And we're going to send out the escorts. So the carriers go back here. Um, the cruisers and the battleship. Line formation. Let's do it. Charlie Squadron. Engage. Which one was that again? North Carolina. Unit models look a little old. Maybe they can team up with Wargaming and combine the unit models from war the warships with this game. That would be interesting.
Looks like the North Carolina is about to reach halfway point for fuel. Ah, good. We're going to be taking over a ball soon. And then we're going to crush whatever's left of the Soryu. Gentlemen, if you could actually stay in formation, that would be wonderful. I know the less, or sorry, the Carolina's a little slower, but that's no reason to just outrun it. <laughs> These guys are probably getting quite worried. So far, no hits, though. Well, that just changed. One of the Shokas took a hit. There's another one. Squadron, turn port. Bring all your guns to bear. We're gonna cross the T. Ooh, close. One more shot. And you're done. That leaves the other one. There you go, he's done for it. Is that the battleship? Oh, hold on. So who's the cruiser that's lagging behind? That's the rally! So they are, in fact, steaming information with the battleship. Okay. That's weird. Also, for some reason, I cannot manually use these guns. Come on. There you go. Wiped out. Okay. Task Force 46. Please proceed north. We are going to take down Iwo Jima. Let's see how 34 is doing. They are working on taking over Rabal. Can we keep an eye on the guys on that uh, group over here? Or do we know exactly where they are? We might know exactly where they are. Now with 346 war bonds I can build another couple of cruisers. Um, I don't really have battle cruisers though. I have heavy cruisers. I think this is the best cruiser that I have. Or the, the heaviest that is. Let's get another one built. Let's see, 34 is racking up the damage, I think. Yeah, looks like. Those Iowas are rushing ahead of the rest of the carriers. Green to launch aircraft. Oh, hello. Five destroyers, four cruisers, one battleship, and two aircraft carriers. I need you to turn your ass around and do so right now. Because we are going to hit these guys with everything we have. And it's going to be a big air show. Which probably goes both ways. Get over here. Do not engage. Not on your own, you're not. There's the flights from 46. That's the dive bombers going out. It's all dive bombers and a bunch of Avengers. Okay. Now, once these aircraft get into range, I want to switch to battle view. And see if I can identify the ships that are currently maneuvering near Iwo Jima. What are we actually attacking? Combat box formation. I'm not going to manually pick targets this time around, I just want to have the AI do that for me. Rabol landing force has been lost? Okay. So apparently Rabol is still capable of putting up a fight. And a half. Okay, so what do we have? Kaga. 
Does that mean that the Akagi is here too? I thought those aircraft carriers sailed together. Or at least they did back in history, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's the... The Soryu? This again? Alright, we're dropping on the Mifune, which is not effective. We did sink one. Is that a cruiser? Maybe a light cruiser, if anything. The Gojo took some damage. Are we done yet with our airstrike? No, we're not quite done yet. We are now diving... at the Gojo. Not exactly what sort of ship that is. It's a cruiser. Oh, gentlemen, that doesn't look too accurate. Well, accurate enough. And there is the Issei battleship. If I'm not mistaken, that's a Fuso configuration. Large pagoda masts, six double turrets. Yeah, that's probably what that is. Dog squadron. We're gonna hit them again. Not exactly sure what your target's going to be. I can dictate what your target's going to be, though. Kaga. Kill that. We wipe out an aircraft carrier, we wipe out a big portion of our issues. Or at least of my concerns, because aircraft carriers can project a lot of power in this game. Maybe too much. Alright boys, whenever you're ready. Yes? No? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Akaga is about to get some aerial presence. They're definitely still fighting back with whatever AA they have. I imagine the people aboard the Kaga might, at this point, start ducking for cover. Bombs away. No more aircraft carrier. Nice work. Fox. Fox is RTP, I think. How about my torpedo bombers? Those are definitely the slowest of the bunch. Yeah, they're still incoming. Okay, so we took out one aircraft carrier and I think a cruiser. Let's see if I can manually control these. And tell them to go for the Issei. Once the Issei is dead, I suppose that the Iowas are more than capable of wiping out the rest of them. Rabal invasion is not really working out. I'm definitely going to lose at least one Avenger here. But that's alright. Hit it. We're going to launch... <laughs> Yet another amphibious invasion. Is the Issei dead in the water? Holy shit, that's a bunch of torpedoes. Um, inquiry, where the fuck did those torpedoes go? I saw them hit the water. And then the game was like, nah. There was a perfect lineup of torpedoes, what we in World of Warships call a wall of skill, and it just didn't do anything. That is weird. Okay, so it's one destroyer, a cruiser, a battleship, and a carrier. This is when the New Jersey and the Iowa are clear to engage. Yeah, Task Force 46 is getting all their aircraft back. We're definitely getting a lot of war bonds lately. 625. Um, good, we can rebuild our cruiser force. And, yeah, 
Yeah, sure, I'll build some more convoy ships or cargo ships. That is, if I have any slots left. Let's get a couple of T2 oilers. One, two, that's enough. Okay. Back to 34. Because 34 seems to be having some trouble at subduing Rabal. I'm not really sure what exactly is putting up such stiff resistance. It might be the torpedo boats, but they only carry... There we go. They only carry, like, one torpedo each. Maybe two. So I very much doubt that those things would be able to actually hold off an entire amphibious force. Now, Tulagi... Uh, Tulagi is... Nope, not yet repaired. But it has been resupplied. Alright, 34. Back here. 56. You're on the way. I keep confusing 56 and 53, I think. It looks like they are running back north. Unsurprising, because they just lost an aircraft carrier and a cruiser. And who knows what else. Back to combat view. Let's see if we can cripple that other aircraft carrier. Uh, which squadron are we looking at? Jig is lead. Information do we have? Are we cool? We can only go combat box. All right. Looks like they're sailing in a perfect line formation. We're gonna take out the Soryu with Jake, and with George, I want to hit the Issei, the battleship. say first. An altitude of 1774 meters. Their AA might reach up this high. 100% on that. There's the one battle group and there's the other. I'm definitely hearing AA. Here we go. This is not going to be a fair fight against the Soryu. Then again, fair fights are for people who don't like or don't mind losing. Look at that stuff. Swarm the Issei. It's raining death at the Issei. Actually, the Issei is dead. And so is the Soryu. Uh, what? Oh! We're going for the Gojo! Enemy fleet destroyed. Holy shit. Who needs battleships if you have five aircraft carriers? What the hell? Okay. So that was a pretty productive episode. Well, with the exception of losing three battle crew or three heavies against this task force here. Other than that, pretty good. Um. Five out of six, two out of six. Let's get another couple of aircraft carriers built. Upgrade for 45 and 45. This is going to be a force that's tackling whatever they sent up north. Because we still have this task force, which is slowly but steadily wiping out all of my ports here in the north. And I don't like that. Alright, I am still intent on taking out Iwo Jima. Oh, I can't do it for, some, for another seven days. Alright, I suppose that makes sense. Alright, well, with that taking another seven days, I'm going to cut the episode here. Thank you for watching. Sorry I lost those cruisers here, but I came up against something that was a little bit more firepower-ish than uh, what my cruisers were capable of tackling. But in the north, they definitely lost quite a potential force. Cruisers, but more importantly, aircraft carriers and a battleship. So with those things out of the way, I think the road to Iwo Jima just got a little safer. But we'll find out next episode. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for more.